Hello and welcome back to Be Boss Kitchen and welcome to those of you who are new. I would like to ask if you've not subscribed to subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video, leave me a comment and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you'll know when I post another video. That being said now, I would like to tell you that I am going to cook cranberry walnut cookies. Um, this sounds really good to me. I love cranberries, I love nuts, and I love cookies. So I think with the three, you can't go wrong. But I want to start by showing you the list of ingredients and then we're going to get started making these cookies. So let me show you what it takes to make them. You will need granulated sugar, brown sugar, butter, milk, orange juice, egg, all-purpose flour, bacon powder, cinnamon, salt, bacon soda, dried cranberries, chopped walnuts, and confectioner's sugar. Okay, the first thing that I have to do, of course, is to preheat the oven to 375, and I have that done. So I'm going to cream my white sugar, brown sugar, and my butter all together in a large mixing bowl. So let's get that going. I have allowed my butter to come to room temperature so that it's good and soft. Okay, I have put in my butter, my granulated sugar, and my brown sugar, and I'm going to cream this together. Okay, and now to this, I'm going to add my milk, my orange juice, and my egg. And I'm going to beat that in. Now I will sift my flour, bacon powder, cinnamon and salt and baking soda all together. I'll sift this all together now. Okay, and now I will blend this in with my wet mixture. Okay, and now we're going to blend in the walnuts and the cranberries. Okay, and so now I'm going to drop these with my small cookie scoop onto the cookie sheet that I've lined with parchment paper. Okay, I'm going to put these in the oven. They will bake anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes at 375 and then I will bring them out. Okay, my cookies are done. I had to actually let them bake for 20 minutes rather than 10 or 15. 
they were just very, very white. So I let them stay an additional five minutes and they look really good. I have two more trays that I have to pop in the oven and then I will be through with baking them. The directions say um, when you get ready to serve these to sprinkle them with confection or sugar. But these have to cool completely and then I will do a taste test for you and close this video out at that time. So I'll be back as soon as they get cooled. Okay. Um, I have transferred the cookies to a cooling rack and it's still a little warm, but you know how I am. I just love my cookies when they're warm. I love my cake when it's warm. Love it when it's cold too, but I'm going to go ahead and do a, a taste test. So it says to sprinkle it with confection or sugar. And so I have. And now here is to you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. Here I go again. I'm sorry. But it is so good. Oh my gosh, that is so good. I never made these before, but this is definitely a keeper. Um, it is so full of cranberry and with the walnuts and they're they're crunchy on the outside. They're kind of chewy on the inside. Oh my goodness. They are delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh. You really need to try these if you like cranberries. Those are so good. Well, I still have two trays in the oven, but I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. I hope you'll give this recipe a try. If you like cranberry and walnut, you will absolutely love these. They are delicious. I'm not kidding. I had never made these, but I thought I want a cookie with cranberries in it. And so I looked up and found this recipe and I'm telling you, it's, I will definitely be making these again lots of times. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And until the next time, this is B Boss saying, may the Lord bless and keep you and your family safe. And until we see each other again, you take care and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye.